G'day guys, g'day viewers. Okay, so through the Spirit, um, I have perceived that God has given me a question from you guys that he wants me to answer for you. So I believe that the message I'm getting and the question I'm being asked is, where do Christians go? Okay, Chris, so you're saying that all the um, modern churches out there are steeped in hypocrisy are teaching uh, prosperity gospels and that they're becoming synagogues of Satan. Well, yes, unfortunately, that's true. And most people are walking away from these congregations for those reasons and many others. Institutional abuse to be a large part of it. So you're asking me, where does a Christian go? For fellowship and to worship God. Okay, so now this is going to kind of blow your mind because it's it's not a traditional model of what church is thought of. <laughs> because the traditional model we think of is of as church is is hypocritical. That's the problem. We've been brainwashed with the hypocritical model of church, but there is a real model of church out there. And I'm going to say to you that it's basically like, most like in the modern era, the Salvos, the Salvation Army. That's right, a charitable organization. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's a group of people that get together to do charity work. They congregate to help others. <laughs> you see, that's what it is. So if you want to really do church, become a member of your local Salvation Army. <laughs> that's where you'll meet real Christians. Christians are actually loving other people, doing God's will, worshipping God. <laughs> Not listening to a load of crap. They're actually doing God's will and loving other people. Okay, so you can be a member of, an, of a charitable organisation you know, I'm a member of a charitable organisation and my job is about doing charity work for people. I'm not boasting about it, that's what I do, that's my job. That's what I've chosen to do, that's my path in life, that's where I feel I should be as a Christian. Because that's what I feel is being true to what I believe. It's about serving other people, loving other people is loving God, loving people in need, loving your neighbour. Like I mentioned to you before about the guy that um, was on Oxford Street and I walked by the guy. I went back to my hotel and I thought, you know, if that guy was a person in need, maybe I can help him. So I looked through my booking chart and I thought, is there a single room available in the hotel for that guy? And yes, sure enough, there was. So I, I set up a booking in my name. Uh, I cut a card for the guy. And I walked down Oxford Street and I kneeled down next to the guy and I said, I said to him, uh, I said, hey, brother, um, can you hear me? Hello. I said, would you like a room for the night? But the guy was non-responsive. He didn't respond to me. He didn't say anything. He didn't rouse from his um, sort of what looked like he was sleeping. I didn't want to disturb him any further than that. I thought, I'm not going to put my hand on the person and shake them, kind of physically um, touch them, because I think that would be going a little bit too far to be a good Samaritan. 
He didn't visibly have any cuts or abrasions. He was just sleeping in a doorway. And I thought, this was a person I could help. This was my neighbour in need. And I offered help to him, but he was not consciously aware of it. So I don't know. In that situation, um, the answer, I guess, was, was no. This wasn't a person I could help. But I tried. And I think God acknowledged that. I think God saw what I did then. Saw what my heart was. And he knew that my intention was to help this person in need. And that was enough for him. So if your intention in your heart is to love God, to love his people, then I encourage you to do fellowship by doing that very thing. And the best way you can do it is by becoming a member of a charitable organization in your community that does charity work for people. So I would recommend to you organizations such as the Salvation Army in your local community. God bless you for helping others, for loving God, for being a real Christian and not for practicing hypocrisy. Amen to that brother and sister.